What do you do when an employee's mom sends you an email? You know, I'm starting to hear more and more stories of it. Scott Beebe, the Business on Purpose podcast, mybusinessonpurpose.com forward slash vision if you want to get started there. And of course, the four steps to businessfreedom.com. Had a heroic small business owner the other day forwarded an email that he got from a team member's mom. So how do you respond? Well, I think your assumption in hearing me ask the question is that the mom emailed uh, with some sort of jab or some some sort of defense of their of their child, of their adult child, by the way. The reality this this is an email that was quite different. This was an email where the mom's son, the employee, he's actually having a really, really hard time in life right now. Really hard time. And the heroic small business owner has done an amazing job of embedding purpose, embedding vision, mission, values, a very systematic process into the business that's predictable. So the employee, aka the son of the mother, has a place of boundary to come to every day and has the mentoring and the training of the business owner every day. So the mom was sending an email expressing thanks, gratitude, overwhelm at the fact that her son has been given the grace of having an owner who gives a rat's rear end, who cares. And that's what's so exciting about it is this email, even though the assumption was that the email was going to be a gripe email, was in all reality very much an email of gratitude, an email of thanks, an email of well done, an email of I'm so glad you are who you are. I'm so glad you see your business as something more than a money-making machine and instead see it as a stage, as a platform for service. Have you ever gotten one of those emails? as a heroic small business owner. Maybe you have, maybe you haven't. I'll be honest, I never have. Are you setting up a business to where that kind of email is even possible? To where a parent of a team member, of an employee, would email you to say, hey, I just want to tell you thanks because you're having an impact on my son. You're having an impact on my daughter. You know, we start businesses for a lot of reasons. For some of you, you started it because you just wanted to make money. For others of you, you started it because you love the product or service. For others of you, you started it because somebody else wanted you to start it. For a few of you, though, you're starting your business because you realize it's a stage. It's a platform to do something powerful and to provide a living and to provide opportunity and to provide products and services. But you're doing it because it can provide transformation. Some of you don't know why you started your business, which is why the mission is so incredibly important. That's why we tell you all the time, we're here to liberate small business owners from the chaos of working in their business. That is our mission. And you say, well, Scott, that didn't tell me how. You didn't ask how. (laughs) You asked, what do I do? That's what I do. On the back end of that, that's where I can walk into the how, but the reality is is you've never been inspired by the how. You've always been inspired by the why. It's the why that forces mothers to send emails to their children's employers to tell them thank you. Let's build a business like that, and let's start right now. We'll see you next time right here on the Business on Purpose podcast.